a freaking bug just flew into my eye. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out. You can really see all the crystal inside of the rock. There's that snake. Yeah, those are beautiful. Good morning from Charles C. Deem Wilderness in uh, the Hoosier National Forest. I'm excited, today I'm bringing you guys along on a 27 mile long backpacking trip. Uh, my goal is to do this in, today's Thursday, I wanna finish it by Saturday. Here's what this uh, trail looks like. So we're starting here, which is called Blackwell uh, Horse Camp. It's a campground where people can bring their horses and you can actually take horses through the trail system, I guess. And then my goal today is to hike about 10 miles and then set up camp for the night. We're gonna disperse camp in the woods somewhere. Got about 30 pounds of gear on my back for this trip. Uh, a lot of that weight is food and water. And so it begins. Oh man, look at this guys. It's quite wet. It uh, actually stormed yesterday. It was pouring down rain. It was like a torrential rainstorm. Uh, I actually had to pull over on the side of the road so I couldn't see the rain was coming down that hard. Hopefully, after it warms up today, uh, the ground will start drying somewhat because the high today is 85. Yeah, look at all these spider webs. You can even see it. All over, here's some more. I think I need a stick. Here we go. I use this to uh, bat away these spider webs. It's getting even muddier, guys. Look at this. Ah, we come to our first fork in the road. All right, Grub Ridge Trail goes that way. Cope Hollow Trail heads this way. Yeah, Cope Hollow Trail is what we're aiming for. What is this? A road? Oh my gosh, flies all over. Wow, what is this thing? Some kind of sled? All right guys, so it's starting to get very humid already. Here we can see some uh, hoof prints, the horseshoes. Some kind of geodes. That's really cool. Oh, they're all over. Whoa, look at that one. Very sparkly. Huh. How cool. I wonder what caused them to all break open like this. Look, I think these are all geodes right here. Even these ones like this, it's not broken open. Let's see if we can, uh... yeah, it's pretty solid. Now my hands are absolutely covered with mud. That was crazy to find all those geodes in one spot like that. Maybe that's how you normally find them, all clustered. I'm not sure. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. This trail is really cool so far. I mean, it's very muddy at the moment, but the scenery is great. I actually feel like I'm secluded, unlike some of the other trails I've been on, where you could still hear like cars and things. This one, all I hear is nature. And maybe a, a slight airplane noise from up above. All right, whoa, look at this. What the heck? It's really flooded right here. Wait, what? Is this literally a stream? Well, that's cool. More geodes in, this, in the water. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this is like, uh, this is just stone. It's not even mud. It's all stone. Ah, 
so it's 10:50 right now ideally i would like to start setting up camp around i'd say at least by six or at least start finding a camp spot by six then i'll be happy so that gives us what seven hours of hiking and it looks like we're coming up to another stream if we keep running into streams and things like this then i don't have to worry about water at all i brought two liters of water and i also brought my mini sawyer filter so yeah hopefully we can find something like this close to where we're going to camp tonight Check out that big branch. It's like, used to be the other half of that tree. Must have got, I don't know, high winds or lightning potentially struck it. Drop down here. Imagine it falling right now. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. We had gone down quite a bit. Now we're going back up. Two things guys, one, I saw my first deer down there running away, and two, a freaking bug just flew into my eye. I'm pretty sure you can see it right there. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out. <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out right now. <laughs> hey God. My idea is I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer and try to just dig it kind of out of my eye. I don't even know what kind of bug it is, which makes it even worse. All right, uh, this is gonna be difficult. I can kind of see it in the reflection of the camera. Uh oh. Oh no, this is really bad guys. All right guys, well, <laughs> I uh, I think I got it out because I can't see it anymore, but I, did, I don't know where it went. I didn't see it on my finger. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be forever a mystery what kind of bug that is, but it's not irritating my eye, so I'm just gonna hope for the best and continue on. Onward we go. Hopefully I don't lose an eye. Hear that howling? Huh. I wonder if that could be coyotes. Or if it's just somebody's dog that they're hiking with. That's pretty cool. There's two trees growing out of one another. I guess this one must have started growing very close to it and they eventually just grew around each other at the base it's not nearly as muddy as it was when we first started which is good hopefully um hopefully it'll start drying up even more as the day goes on but i've gotten to the point where there's no cell service now i truly get to take a break from uh, social media and everything This is probably the coolest part of the trail so far, finding all these geodes everywhere. This area is cool. Everything's growing so close together. It's a little stream down there. Oh, we get across the stream. This place is so peaceful, guys. Just listening to the birds up in the trees and the water trickling. It's awesome. And look at this. 
probably the biggest geode I've seen uh, thus far. Look at the size of this one. Get it all rinsed off. It's still muddy, but you can see that it is crystal inside. Very cool. Here's another one that's not muddy. Uh, and you can really see all the crystal inside of the rock. This thing's heavy. All right. Let's continue. The scenery keeps changing. It's uh, definitely denser than it was again, and it's I'm getting that rainforest vibe again. Everything's wet. Another stream, maybe the same stream. Whoa, guys, look at that. I just realized there's a big old snake over there. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> I uh, barely noticed it, and that's exactly the path I would have been going. I'll record with my phone and get a little better visual of it. There's that snake. I don't know what kind of snake that is. Considering it's by a water source, it makes me think that it could be some kind of water moccasin. I'm going to look it up and see if I can identify it. I forgot that I don't have cell service right now, so I can't look it up. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that guy. I don't want him coming too close to me. While we're here, I'm going to take a little break and prepare my lunch. I'll show you what I have for lunch. I organized my food a little better than I had in the last couple trips. So I have day one meals right here. We're going to cold soak again. Okay, on the menu for lunch is couscous like a Parmesan flavor couscous. I might have just added a little too much water to this. This should be ready in maybe like 45 minutes to an hour. It's currently 12.02, so we'll stop at like 12.45, one, and uh, eat that. All right, we're gonna continue. That snake, I saw it, it slithered up the side of that right there. So we'll give that a pretty wide berth. Um, yeah, oh, there it is, I see him. Oh man. He's right there, his tail's right here. Oh yeah, there's his head. All right, snakey, play it cool. I'm just gonna come right by you. Okay, let's continue making our way. All right, uh, I barely walked anywhere, and we're at another stream. This one's wider. I actually can't even tell where the trail goes. I guess that's the continuation that way. How am I supposed to cross this, guys? Oh, crap, is this the trail? I think this is the trail going this way. Gotta be on the lookout for snakes big time, though. Uh. Okay, I don't know if this is the trail or not, guys. Oh, duh, that is the trail over there. You can see where it's marked. All right, we're going back. Yeah, you can actually see hoof prints. There were uh, horses that crossed this way. Much easier to cross right here. There we go, back on the right path. And we're going back up in elevation. All right, winding back on itself again. Wow, guys, going up in elevation really makes a difference. I can really feel the weight of my pack now. I made it up the steep incline and uh, yeah, that's definitely good cardio. I can tell you that. I feel my blood pumping. Wow, look how overgrown the trail is right here. Maybe it's been a while since anybody's come through. I would think if people came through on horseback, 
to it, uh, that would be very difficult to get through. Man, I got spider webs all over my face and hair. Duh. We made it to a section that has gravel for quite a while, it looks like. That's so cool, guys. Look at these two butterflies. I'll take some footage with my phone. Here's the footage from my phone. Yeah, those are beautiful. I don't know what kind of butterfly that one on the right is, but that's absolutely gorgeous. Could somebody please tell me in the comments what kind of butterfly that is? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. This area, the trail's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder how long it took to bring all this gravel out and lay the lay the logs out because that would have been a lot of work. I wonder if we're getting close to another trailhead up here because if we're just in the middle of the trail like out in the middle of nowhere it's hard to imagine that anybody would have taken the time to bring this much gravel out. That's actually weird. I wonder why they put it in that one area. It didn't go on for that long. Maybe to protect all the, uh, the grass and stuff. Huh. All right, guys. So I'm just taking a little break right now. And um, so here's the snake that I saw earlier, right? There's the pattern and all that. And this is uh, what an image of a copperhead looks like when I Googled it. An eastern copperhead. So, yeah. That was a venomous snake. Good thing I spotted it before I uh, started walking up that trailhead. <laughs> that could be really bad. Wow, guys. So I didn't actually get the bug out of my eye earlier. I It started bothering me again. I finally looked. And uh, here it is. I was able to get it out finally. That's been in there for like a couple hours. Probably can't even see it very well in this. But... Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, to be honest. It's like a little little fly thing with uh, red eyes and little wings on it. But yeah, I'm just glad to have that out. I used hand sanitizer again, so hopefully I don't get... Uh, <laughs> hopefully nothing bad happens to my eye. But the, that couldn't have been good staying in there. So, yeah. All right, we'll get back on the trail. Back on the trail, hoping to find another water source. I can't believe that that was actually a copperhead that we saw earlier. Uh, if I had it turned the camera on and stopped to make my cold soak meal, I would have stepped right there, possibly on it. And uh, yeah, there's a really good chance I could have got bitten. Okay, holy crap. <laughs> Speaking of snakes, that made me freak out. I thought that was a snake. Jeez. All right. Uh, I had a little bit of cell service back there and I was able to look up like what to do if you are bitten by a copperhead and pretty much everything says like seek medical attention immediately um it says call 911 go to the emergency room it sounds like their uh their venom isn't as as crazy as some of the other venomous snakes but yeah it still it still can really mess you up going up another incline wow Ooh wee look at this guys a pond this is awesome i wish i would have brought like a little fishing pole but i guess that wouldn't have been very practical lugging a fishing rod way back here uh maybe i'll look into like an ultralight version of a fishing rod but that'd be awesome fishing right here yes sir let's see if we can find a spot to uh sit down and chill for a bit all right guys time to get some water to filter easier said than done it's not very deep all right now I'm just gonna have to do it this way. Kind of scoop it. All right, now we can get this filter screwed on. I'll go ahead and finish off this water. Right, guys i filtered a little more water uh off camera a little bit more just to top it off but yeah i'm finally gonna eat let's see what time it is it's 1 37 already so this food's been done for like quite a while like 40 minutes or so oh wow oh <laughs> maybe i didn't add enough water to this crap 
All right, so actually, I added some water to it, and it's like instantly ready to eat now. I'll add some of this tuna to it also, and that's gonna be my lunch. All right, there we go, got the tuna added. Cheers. For a cold soaked meal, it's pretty good. All right, see you in a little bit. Check this out, guys. This is a campsite that's already set up. That's really cool. This would be a cool spot to camp, though. Look at the view of all the trees. Very peaceful. Crap, guys, look at this tree that's in the middle of the trail. How do I get around this one? Um, maybe I try to go straight through it. There's like butterflies and things in here. Yeah, I think I can make it through here. No problem. Yeah. Whoa. Come on. Let's go. We got this. Okay. All kind of vines and things in this area. All down there too. Guys, look how sweaty I am right now. It's crazy. At 1.30 it was 83 and it's now 2.22. So yeah, it is very hot. Let's continue. I can tell that we've come down in elevation quite a bit because it's getting muddy again. And I saw a tiny, tiny stream back there. Oh look, a shoe print. Somebody's been through here recently. Oh, that's interesting, I haven't passed anybody. Areas like this are where the spider webs are the worst. <laughs> like that, I just got one to the face. Even using this stick in front of me like this, you can't get them all. This is getting a little ridiculous. The amount of uh, foliage in this area. Uh, at least I can still see the path. I must say, I like the higher elevation areas a lot more. Because they're not so muddy. And they don't seem to be as humid either. Huh, another stream. This part's pretty cool. I'm gonna kind of jump from, uh, jump from rock to rock almost. Wow, look at the size of that tree that fell right over the path again, <laughs> great. I don't know how I'm gonna get around this one. Maybe I could climb through it, maybe I should go around. Oh man, this is tough. I don't know, that's a mess up there too. Shoot. I wonder if I could backtrack and go around that way. Well, here we go. I wonder how recent that fell. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. I stepped on this stick and it started crunching way over there. Ugh. I mean, how many freaking trees have we seen fallen today over the trail? It's been like, this has to be like the eighth or something. Pretty crazy. Look how thick that is up here, guys. What the heck? These are all thorns. Oh no. This is gonna be troublesome. Gosh. It might not look difficult, but when you have like 30 plus pounds on your back, uh, it makes it harder. What the fuck? Guys, this is not good. There's so much to go through. Oh, what the? Oh. oh my gosh. Come on. Okay. All right, I think we're almost through it. I'm gonna have to check myself for ticks for sure later. All right, well, that was a hell of a detour. Let's hope we don't have to do that again. <laughs> Back on the path. Oh, here's the river again, or the uh, stream, whatever you want to call it. 
That must be the trail that way. All right. Let's try not to slip. Because this type of rock I've noticed is pretty slippery. If this is even the trail. Uh, yeah, this looks like the trail. All right, the good thing is we're going back up in elevation. Hopefully we'll get out of this mud. So guys, what I've noticed is uh, the higher in elevation we go, the more pine trees, the coniferous trees, they seem to be footprint. We're not alone. A few footprints. Okay. Also guys, I think I might have heard voices somewhere in that vicinity. It's hard to tell. It could have been an animal. Wow, look at those sway up there. Holy crap, <laughs> they have a lot of leeway. This part of the trail is kind of weird. Like, look how dense it is. I can't even see anything to either side of me. For all I know, somebody's camping like right over there. Oh, check this out. More tree carvings. Let's see. All kind of carvings in this one. Guys, there's a deer straight ahead of me. It heard me. I broke a stick. Ah, there it goes. They, uh, they make that snorting sound before they take off. I... Jeez. Still making it and running. I must have really startled it. What the heck? It's still making that noise. I don't know if that's a sign of aggression or what. And I just heard something else over here, so there might be another one. I'll tell you what, guys. <laughs> My bag started to feel real heavy. We're going uphill again. You can always tell when we start going uphill. Ah, I can feel my heart going crazy. Whoosh. Holy crap, guys, that. Ah. Ah. Just went uphill again for quite a while. Non-stop, 414. Yeah, I guess I hiked about was it like uh, 25 minutes straight trying to speed hike to make up some uh, some ground but holy crap I definitely need this break I don't think I should have sat on that it's all decaying and it's all over my jeans now but it's 425 right now so I'm gonna try to make good time and keep going uh, we've come to another sign what is this Grub Ridge Trail is what we're apparently on right now. What the heck? I'm confused, guys. Oh, no, guys. I went the wrong direction. There was a fork back here, apparently. And I turned down Cope Hollow Trail. I needed to go on Martin Hollow Trail. I guess I'm going to backtrack. So here is where it forked. I <laughs> apparently walked past this sign without even seeing it. I guess I was just so in my in the zone of hiking and making sure I don't get attacked by spider webs. But okay, so that's Cape Hollow Trail that way then I guess. We need to go this way. I didn't even see that fork earlier. Guys, check it out, another water source. And uh, I think I'm going to actually set up camp soon, close to here, because I really like the idea of having a uh, source of water for the morning to come and filter before we start a hike in the morning. The trail started right there where that little circle is and we've hiked the lower half all the way to here yeah there's a long lot lot to go we might actually depending on how the weather is looking we might have to cut it short and go this way and cut off the whole outer loop area but we'll decide that once we make camp we'll look at the weather see how it's supposed to be it's currently 5 13 so let's see how far i walked 8.87 miles so not quite the 10 mile goal that i set for myself but 
I am feeling pretty rough right now. My legs are freaking burning. This pack is feeling really, really heavy. I'm feeling pretty exhausted. It's uh, surprising me actually how exhausted I feel. We need to camp. The regulations are 300 feet, at least 300 feet away from water sources and 100 feet away from the trail. So let's come up here a ways away from the water and then we'll head off into the uh, into the woods and see what we can find. Oh, we're going up in elevation again. Oh man, this is feeling rough right now. All right, we came up quite a ways and uh, it's starting to level out. I think uh, this is where we'll start walking into the woods and find a spot for for our campsite for tonight. Luckily, I have a hammock, so it doesn't need flat ground. Oh, jeez. All right, guys. So I set up my little chair and I hung up my gear hammock and uh, I'm kind of just trying to relax for a second. It's currently 544. And uh, the flies were, as soon as I sat down, the flies were all over me like crazy, all over my clothes, all over my skin. So I had to bust out the, the off deep woods uh, insect repellent and it seems to be working. I mean, they're staying away. So my plan of action, I don't know for sure. There's two trees back here that I might set up the hammock on, or there's two trees over here that also look pretty promising. like. I definitely need to get this thing set up. I'm really tired, guys. Like, I didn't expect to be this tired after today. I think it's, honestly, the heat is really getting to me because, I mean, it got up to 85 today. Let's see what it's at currently. Looks like I chose a camp spot without cell service. <laughs> uh, of course I did. That's not great because I need to research what the weather's going to be like. I guess I'll have to hike just without my bags and see if I can find some self-service here in a little while. Probably after I get my uh, campsite set up. But yeah, the, the heat and the humidity really, really made this hike way harder than it normally would be. 85 degrees out and I don't even didn't even check the humidity earlier but it felt insane first things first for getting this hammock set up i need to get rid of that branch that's just hanging up there there all right yeah definitely would not want that to fall on me in the middle of the night all right now i am going to try to hang it from here this tree to there that tree i hope it's not too far i don't think it is they're pretty skinny trees i guess i'm gonna have to uh clear out a lot of these thorn bushes all right i'll bring it back here in a little bit all right another update guys i actually so if you can see way back there is where i originally had all my stuff i uh decided to scout out the area a little more and i found this spot right here so a tree there go into a tree right there yeah, so we're going to try to make this work. And then I can even like set my chair over here and hang out until I need to go to bed uh, later on. So I'm going to start, I'm going to move some stuff over here and see if I can make it work. Holy crap, guys, I just took this out of my bag and it was leaking because I noticed my uh, hammock had water on it. I am so lucky that this whole liter of water didn't just burst in my bag. That would have sucked. Everything would have been drenched. Look at this, guys. I finally got it. Finally found some trees that'll work. I actually had to go elsewhere again. <laughs> so over there, where my bag is, is where I was going to try. And it was too short. Even... Oh, I'll show you guys. Ah. Even using these... Uh, using this is called a marlin spike hitch that's what it's called and it lets you basically shorten your strap 
so that you can uh, you can hang your hammock in a shorter uh, span of trees or with skinnier trees. Yeah, over there, even with the marlin spike hitch, it was still too short. So, yeah, I couldn't make it work. But luckily, I was able to find this spot. Got it to work. So now that that's going, now that that's up, and I know it's going to work, I can start putting up the tarp and everything else. All right, guys, so here's the setup. Uh, I decided to go tarpless because there was no rain forecast for tonight. That's one reason. And the other reason is... Uh, I would have to cut down at least one of these trees to be able to run the tarp out and uh, pin it up. So, I mean, I really hope that it doesn't rain. I need to walk and find somewhere with cell service and maybe I could check the weather. For now, I'm gonna go get the rest of my stuff. I'll set up my gear hammock over there. All right, guys, I'm about to cold soak my dinner. So I have chicken flavor fried rice. Rice pasta blend and soy, sesame and chicken flavored sauce. So I got it poured up right here. I'm gonna add some water. I did bring the gear hammock over here. I got the chair over here. So I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get water in this and get that going and then uh, in about an hour I'll eat. Let's see what time it is. All right, 7.50. So we have like a little over an hour before sunset. So I guess I'll be able to eat right before sunset. I'll update you in a bit. All right, guys, so I walked pretty far that way, um, trying to see if I could find anywhere with slight cell connection. And at a few spots, it showed that I had some signal, but it just would not load. Um, so I'm just gonna have to go off of the most recent weather app update that I have, which was at 2.22 p.m. At that point, it was saying there was a 15% chance of rain. So I'm really, really hoping that's still the case because without the tarp, I don't know. Maybe I should just put the tarp up. I mean, I have nothing else to do. Yeah, I guess I'll give it a go. I'm still waiting for my food to prepare, so I don't really have anything else to do. All right, guys. I can't say that I'm proud of this setup, um, but I did get the tarp up. Unfortunately, I can't tighten it anymore because of um, the space between the trees. I've never set it up like this before and this like diamond configuration maybe i did it wrong i don't even know maybe i should have put this the tarp itself over the ridge line but whatever it's gonna work because it's uh resting on the bug nets ridge line so i still have room to get in and out <clears throat> into my hammock and out of my hammock um when i'm under here that's the setup for tonight I'm just glad that if it does end up raining, then I'm, uh, I at least won't get soaked. Uh, I was more worried about my gear getting soaked, like the under quilt and the, uh, and the top quilt. 828. So my cold soak meal has a little longer to go. Um, sun's gonna set before too long here in like, probably like 40 minutes. It might get dark before that because it's gonna go behind the trees. I better get my headlamps out and my flashlight but all right i'll update you guys here in a bit all right guys final update of the night i moved the gear hammock i moved it over here this is actually how it's supposed to be used i've never used it this way though so it's supposed to hang underneath the hammock like that so this way i figured if uh if it does start raining, then at least my gear will stay dry. I'm gonna eat my meal and then brush my teeth. And then I'm just heading straight to bed. I uh, I feel pretty whooped. I hope I could fall asleep at a decent time. Um, but yeah, I will pick back up tomorrow, but that's gonna be a separate video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. All right, see you then, bye.